it does mean you have to be able to carry a tune, even though you've got a bad voice, but you have enough s musical sense that you can carry a tune, however badly the voice may, may, may re reproduce it. You have to have a musical sense, a sense of music. Uh, so, and secondly, you have to have uh, this comfort with an audience so that you know whether they should be ahead of you or behind you. In other words, whether you surprise them or let them surprise themselves. I'll give you an, uh, an example of, uh, um, of them being ahead. In, when I played Lady Bracknell, there come, came that, that extraordinary moment when uh, Lady Bracknell says to, to uh, um, John Worthing, uh, we're asking where he, was, where he was born and brought up. And uh, in, in what locality, uh, where, were you, where were you born? And he says, in a handbag. And um, the famous Lady Bracknell of, of all time was D Dame Edith Evans, who when, and the next line that Lady Bracknell has is just a handbag. That's the line. Right. Well, what, what uh, Evans did was she just covered an entire octave with two, two lines. A handbag. And it was uh, legendary. And when I come to, came to rehearse it uh, back in whenever it was, in the 70s, uh, I said to Robin Phillips, who was directing the production, I'm not going to touch this line, Robin, at the moment because, you know, Dame Edith Evans is still hovering in the air. Right. Well, one time I got the, the cue from Nicky Pennell, who was playing Worthing. He said, a handbag. Well, I was sitting on the sofa, and sitting beside me on the sofa was a little reticule that I had, a, little ha a l tiny little handbag, and I just put it down. And he said, a handbag. <laughs> a handbag. <laughs> now, even you laughed, and uh, you know. No, no. Uh, and I wasn't going to laugh at the beginning. I wasn't. I saw it. I saw it. And then they did start to laugh something pushed me over. Because that's where their eyes went. You see, if, if you were in an audience, yeah. they would go. They, they're, once I move my head this way, they are waiting for me to get there. To get there, right. Once I have moved my head, if I had, if I had, once I did this, then that's, they're waiting for me to, to discover that little reticule. They're waiting for me. So that, in that respect, they're ahead. And they were laughing and laughing and laughing. Uh, the, they, somebody timed the laughter, and, and it amounted to about 30 to 40 seconds, which is a long time to laugh. Thought will travel. Uh, uh, and in this case, he says in a handbag, he said in a handbag, he must think I'm crazy. Just a minute. By that time you're there. And that's, they are right. waiting. Yeah. They, each one of those thoughts is clear to them. Right. And that's precision. Yes. Your timing and your I mean, precision. Also, but you have to think. Yes. This is one of the, this is one of the problems with, with, with young actors. They don't know how to think because they're afraid to think. They're afraid if they stop to think, they, they, they are, they're out of the scene. That's brilliant. That's it. That's, I mean, I can say that to my class tomorrow. I can say, you're not thinking because you are afraid to think. That you, that the moment you think, mm -hmm. you think you're removed from something. How can you think and be in the middle of something at the same time? I'll give you an example. Let's go back to, to um, um, is it not monstrous? And I'm going to think through this. Just think. Is it not monstrous that this play I hear, but in a fiction, in a dream of passion, could force his soul so to its own conceit that 
from her working all his visage wand. Tears in his eyes. Distraction in his aspect. A broken voice. And his whole function suiting with horns to his conceit. And all for nothing. Now one can do it that way. But it means that you're thinking from thought to thought, from mm -hmm. phrase to phrase. You're making it up as you go along. Mm -hmm. And that's what, what, what young actors have got to learn, learn to do. That they take a, a bunch of Shakespearean verse and, and they, they're afraid of it. And they think they want to get through it as quickly as possible. Because they don't know what to do with it. And that's what, why phrasing is so important somebody to teach them phrasing, to break it up, because people, people communicate thought. That's the word I wanted. Thought can communicate itself. The more powerful the thought, the, m the more direct is the communication. Uh, and, uh, and, and the communication happens as you're thinking. Yes. That's what communicates the, th the, 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 the little pauses in between. And that's what makes me leave my seat in the moment. Yes. Is yes. traveling with that thought that you're having. Um, well, gravel, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm so happy that this is in the camera because this is uh, absolutely it. Um,